Did you know that in Iceland, 67% of babies are born to parents who aren't married? That's right. Welcome to a place where sex comes first. In this intriguing land of fire and ice, societal norms are quite different from what you might be used to. Here, relationships often start with physical intimacy, and commitment in the form of marriage may or may not follow. Parenthood is a separate entity altogether, not necessarily tied to nuptial bonds. This approach might seem unconventional to some, but it's deeply rooted in Iceland's culture and history. A society that values individual freedom and choice, Icelanders have long shrugged off the stigmas associated with premarital sex and out-of-wedlock births. In fact, these are seen as personal decisions, free from societal judgment. So let's dive into this fascinating culture that dares to break the norm, where love, sex and parenthood have their own unique narrative. In Iceland, the stigmas associated with premarital sex and out-of-wedlock births simply do not exist. But how does this translate to dating in Iceland? Let's dive in. At the heart of the Icelandic dating scene lies a casual yet respectful approach. Unlike many other cultures, Icelanders typically don't engage in formal dating practices. Rather, they tend to hang out in groups before gradually forming more intimate connections. But don't mistake this casualness for indifference. The Icelandic dating scene is marked by a deep sense of respect for individual autonomy and sexual freedom. This easygoing attitude towards dating is heavily influenced by the country's progressive views on sex. The topic isn't treated as a taboo, instead it's seen as a natural part of life and relationships. This allows for open and honest conversations from early stages of dating, fostering a culture of transparency and mutual respect. Iceland's liberal attitudes towards sex also impact the pace of relationships. While in many cultures there's a typical sequence of events, first date, second date, and so on, until the relationship reaches a more serious stage. In Iceland, this isn't necessarily the case. The progression of a relationship is less about following a set timeline and more about the mutual feelings and comfort levels of those involved. Casual sex isn't frowned upon either, what matters most is that all parties involved are consenting adults. This freedom is a testament to Iceland's commitment to sexual autonomy and respect for individual choices. However, it's crucial to note that these progressive attitudes don't translate to a lack of commitment. Icelanders value deep connections and long-term relationships just as much as anyone else. But, they're also aware that such bonds can't be forced or rushed. They naturally evolve from mutual respect, understanding, and shared experiences. Lastly, let's not forget that Iceland is a small country with a population of just over 300,000 people. This means that everyone pretty much knows everyone. It creates a close-knit community where people are more likely to have shared pasts, adding another unique dynamic to the dating scene. So in Iceland, the dating scene is less about rules and more about mutual respect and freedom. You might be wondering, how do Icelanders become so open about sex? It starts early, with comprehensive sex education. Now let's dive into this fascinating aspect of Icelandic culture. In Iceland, sex education isn't a one-off awkward conversation. It's a continuous dialogue that begins in kindergarten and continues through high school. This approach allows children to grow up with an understanding of sex as a natural part of life, rather than a taboo subject. What sets Iceland apart is the depth and breadth of these conversations. They go beyond the birds and the bees, delving into the complexities of relationships, emotions, consent, and respect. One of the key aspects of Icelandic sex education is the emphasis on open discussions. These conversations demystify sex, breaking down the barriers of embarrassment and discomfort. From a young age students are encouraged to ask questions, express their thoughts, and engage in candid discussions. This openness fosters a healthy attitude towards sex and relationships, empowering young Icelanders to make informed decisions. Another critical element of Iceland's sex education is the focus on consensual sex and responsible behavior. Students learn about the importance of mutual consent and the consequences of irresponsible behavior. They're taught to respect boundaries, understand body autonomy, and navigate relationships with care. This comprehensive approach to sex education also includes a strong focus on sexual health. Young Icelanders are educated about contraception, sexually transmitted diseases, and the importance of regular checkups. This knowledge equips them with the tools to protect themselves and their partners, promoting a culture of responsibility. In Iceland, sex education is more than just a curriculum. It's a societal tool that shapes attitudes, behaviors, and norms. It's an ongoing open dialogue that fosters understanding, respect, and responsibility. And the impact? Well, it's clear to see. 
Iceland consistently ranks high in global surveys for sexual health and satisfaction. Its teen pregnancy rates are among the lowest in the world, and sexually transmitted infections are relatively rare. In Iceland, sex education goes beyond biology. It's about building a culture of respect, consent, and responsibility. This holistic approach to sex education is a testament to Iceland's progressive society, paving the way for a healthier, happier, and more respectful world. In Iceland, gender equality isn't just a buzzword, it's a way of life. This small island nation in the North Atlantic has consistently been ranked at the top of the Global Gender Gap Index for over a decade, reflecting its commitment to ensuring equal opportunities and rights for all, regardless of gender. This ethos of equality permeates every aspect of Icelandic society, including its unique approach to sex and relationships. You see, in Iceland, there's no room for outdated gender stereotypes or expectations. It's a place where everyone is free to express themselves and their sexuality without fear of judgment or discrimination. In a world where many societies still struggle with gender bias, Iceland's emphasis on equality is both refreshing and inspiring. It's a country where men and women are equally expected to contribute to household chores and child rearing. Both genders take on roles that are traditionally seen as masculine or feminine. It is this balance, this equal sharing of responsibilities, that has helped to foster a culture of respect and mutual understanding. But how does this relate to the country's unique sex culture? Well, in a society where gender roles are flexible and fluid, sex isn't seen as a power play or a battle of the sexes. Instead, it's viewed as a natural and enjoyable aspect of human relationships, based on mutual consent and respect. Moreover, the emphasis on gender equality in Iceland has led to open conversations around sex and relationships. There's no shame or stigma associated with discussing sex, which in turn encourages safe and responsible practices. But let's not forget that equality isn't just about rights. It's also about responsibilities. In Iceland, everyone is expected to contribute to the ongoing fight for gender equality, whether that's by challenging gender stereotypes, promoting sex education, or advocating for equal rights. So you see, gender equality in Iceland isn't just a societal ideal, it's a lived reality. It's a crucial part of the country's unique culture, shaping attitudes towards sex, relationships, and everything in between. With equal rights comes equal responsibility, and in Iceland that's something they take seriously. So, what does all this mean for Icelandic society? Well, let's delve into that. You see, the progressive attitude towards sex in Iceland isn't just about breaking taboos or having a good time. It has a profound impact on the fabric of Icelandic society. Let's start with teenage pregnancy, a concern that plagues many societies around the world. In Iceland, however, this isn't a widespread issue. The reason? Comprehensive sexual education and open communication. The result is a staggeringly low teenage pregnancy rate, one of the lowest in the world. This means that young people in Iceland are able to focus on their education and personal growth without the added responsibilities and challenges that come with early parenthood. Now let's talk about sexual satisfaction. Iceland consistently ranks highly in surveys measuring sexual fulfillment. This is likely due to the country's open dialogue about sex coupled with a strong emphasis on consent and mutual pleasure. This creates an environment where individuals feel comfortable expressing their needs and desires, leading to more satisfying sexual relationships. But the impact doesn't stop there. This culture of openness and equality also contributes to the overall health and happiness of the population. Iceland frequently tops the charts in global happiness rankings and it's not hard to see why. With a society that values open communication, education and equality, individuals feel empowered, respected and fulfilled. It's clear that Iceland's progressive attitude towards sex has ripple effects that extend far beyond the bedroom. It shapes the society in a way that promotes health, happiness and satisfaction. And isn't that what we all strive for? A society where individuals feel valued, where they're able to express themselves freely, and where their health and happiness are prioritized? In Iceland, a culture of openness, education and equality creates a society that's happier, healthier and more satisfied. In the end, what can we learn from Iceland's unique approach to sex? Well, we've seen how Iceland breaks stereotypes, fostering a dating scene that is refreshingly open and direct. We've delved into their comprehensive sex education program, which starts from a young age and promotes informed decisions and healthy attitudes towards sex. We've also discussed the strong emphasis on gender equality in the country, ensuring that everyone has the same rights, opportunities and respect in sexual matters. These elements have a profound impact on Icelandic society, 
leading to lower rates of sexual violence, fewer teen pregnancies, and generally healthier relationships. It's a blueprint for how a progressive sex culture can lead to tangible societal benefits. So, what can other societies learn from Iceland? Perhaps it's time to challenge our own preconceptions, to prioritize education and equality in our approach to sex. Iceland shows us that when it comes to sex, openness, education and equality can lead to a happier, healthier society. And that's something we can all aspire to.